A homicide suspect has turned himself in tonight, but police remain on the lookout for retaliation. News Reese Jessica Arp has the latest on this developing story live from the town of Madison Police Department. Well, while one suspect is in custody tonight, police are issuing warnings to friends, family and associates of those involved in this situation not to retaliate and say that they are still looking to talk to some witnesses. 28 year old Courtney Moore is in the Dane County Jail tonight. Town of Madison police say he turned himself in with his attorney present around 1030 last night. Police believe Moore is responsible for a shooting outside the Capitol Petro station off Rimrock Road last Wednesday that killed Elijah Washington the third. Despite the so-called low-key surrender, police are still on guard. But the violence may not be over. I still have fear that there might be more shootings going on out there, and that's why I'm asking the, the people out there that are having this conflict act like men and turn themselves into law enforcement. Chief Gregory says they're already investigating some threats made on social media since Courtney's surrender last night. Now, while the chief said that Courtney took responsibilities for his actions, they're not talking about what he may have said in interviews with police or whether he confessed to this killing or whether he said anything about the two other related homicides that have happened. The one last week at the BP gas station and the one last month at O'Grady's pub that actually killed Moore's brother, Martez Moore. The DA does have the information in this case and could file charges later this week. All right, more to come then. Jessica Arp reporting live for us tonight. Jessica, thank you. And a group of community leaders are offering some solutions to stop the violence. Our Valina Jones is live at the Dane County Boys and Girls Club with that story tonight. Valina? Well, Eric and Michelle, community leaders came here to the Boys and Girls Club to roll out that 15-point plan, and Michael Johnson, CEO of the club, says it's not only to stop the recent violence that we've seen, but these implementations can actually prevent the violence going forward. Some of those suggestions include meeting with leaders of gangs or those associated with crimes and help them find employment, gun buyback programs and school programs to prevent violent behavior early on. A reenactment today also illustrated what happens when you resolve conflict the right and wrong way. In this community, we announce way too many initiatives and we don't put any money behind it. That has to stop. These kids deserve in this community to live in a community that feels safe. These kids deserve to have resources to make sure that they grow up just like you and I. support and funding. Johnson hopes that local and state government will help fund and incorporate these plans. Now, a number of city council members were also here in support. They say they will take these recommendations to the next city council meeting. All right, Belinda Jones live at the Boys and Girls Club in Madison tonight. Belinda, thank you.